Hey, you know what I just noticed? Take a look at the Animal Crossing New Horizons game icon for the Nintendo Switch. You see a certain someone standing in the bottom left corner? That's right. There he is. Filbert. No, you know who I mean. I mean Apollo. <laughs> what more do I need to do? Am I being punished? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> Love that little palm tree. But what does that suggest about our island? If you, like, pop it, does it sink? God, if only... If I can take Murphy and Cody down with me, so be it, you know? Sometimes desperate villagers require desperate measures. Hey, so I don't know if I brought this up on stream. Hi, Wolfgang. Um, but the loading times, I was talking with Max about the loading times for New Horizons, and does anybody know if Animal Crossing uses the, the Switch's boost mode? Y'all know about boost mode? Because I don't think any other Switch games besides Odyssey and Breath of the Wild have used it. But Animal Crossing, boy, just booting it up for the first time, um, it could definitely stand to use it. Good evening, everyone. Right now in Yowieville, it's 8.43 p.m. on Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Like, these are some ukulele in the impossible lair load times, if I'm being quite honest. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Oh, did anyone else see that talk show yesterday on TV? You know the one. I like watching for the guests, but the hosts are such chatterboxes. They're always rambling on and on and on and on. Oh dear. You know, I appreciate that these are more detailed models, but the fact that like surrounding Isabelle's pupils right now is like indents suggesting light and shadow, it looks like Isabel has like actual holes where her eyes should be. <laughs> kind of fucked up. Oh dear. There I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. That's It's okay, Isabel. We love you. Oh, boost mode? Like from Sonic? Next bit, Robin. Um, boost mode is basically something that they added, I think in like 7.0 in an update. Ooh. What if Griffin get iPad? Oh, it's Timmy, not Tommy. Fuck off with this can't believe this guy um but basically during um loading screens the switch will temporarily overclock <gasps> flick the switch will temporarily overclock to make loading screens faster um and there i believe digital foundry did some tests or something like that but i don't know if animal crossing uses it or not because if it does woof we're out of luck griffin Patron of the arts, behold my piece inspired by the man-faced stink bug is at last finished. I worked tirelessly to capture its likeness for you, and I hope you enjoy it. May it bring bugs even further into your heart. Thank you, Flick. <laughs> Thanks, Flick. <laughs> also, uh, a KK song. So what did I actually commission? I'm not sure what I've just commissioned. A model. That's right, he said something about sculpting. Oh, I forgot that I said that I was going to do off-stream stuff with the paths. Because I did not do that. There's Adi. Looking as buff as ever. <laughs> There's just so many tarantulas <laughs> to load in. Imagine getting a man-faced stink bug model instead of a peacock butterfly model. Listen, I just... Looked at what was most available, and maybe I'll like it. Oh, it's like a giant version. That's cute. I'm gonna sell it, but it's cute. So, if you sell Flick his own models, but I guess Flick isn't here today. Does that mean that he'll pay for the, whatever 150% of the model's value is? Or Also, can you dig into these? Okay, you can. So it depends on the material of the path. That's good to know. I'll keep an eye out for that one placing paths near stones or in more likelihood when shattering any stones because I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of that 
So as you can tell by the fact that we just got an Isabelle update, I didn't really do anything off stream this time. Uh, because... Does Audie have fleas? Audie. That's a bad dog. Apparently that was a goal. God forgive me for what I'm about to do. No, the man faced stink bug is the best one. The curse is lifted. Yuck, fleas. I wondered why I've been so itchy lately. I haven't been that itchy, itchy since the last time I had. I almost said the last time I had fleas. That's hilarious. Because I've never had fleas, Griffin. Not even this time. Yeah, okay, Audie. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, sweaty. Let me clear out these nook miles while I'm at it. Let's see, I gotta take some pictures, I gotta sell a hot item for a hot fortune. Let's see. I wish that wasn't one of the things that you had to do, you know? I feel bad whenever I take junk photos for nook points. Disgusting. What is that one tile path? What do you mean, what? The one near the rock that I just dug into? That one? Guys, a chair. Could it really be? A writing chair. <gasps> I'm a writer. What makes this specifically a writing chair? It looks so, to me like a, like a high chair, like a toddler chair. I think I'll pass. Hi, my banks. Uh, I would like to sell. No, the one outside of Nook's Cranny. Like the one that I just walked up to enter the store? That's an ugly path? Why? Directions to Wario's house. <laughs> Wait, wrong tab. I think you've come to the right place. You think this is an ugly path? I think it's nice. I mean, when compared in the larger context of like the town square, got some nice symmetry going on, I, I think. Why? What's wrong with it? Yeah, because Alan Wake <laughs> acts like a child. It's ugly because it's one tile. Well, you can't make it two tiles wide because this is an odd... Nook's Cranny is an odd number of units wide. So to center the path, it has to be either one or three wide. And three is just too much, man. What, do you have something against Twink Roads? Knowing this chat, yes, they do have something against Twinks. Also... I don't know what, what, why Twink Road reminded me of this, but our ramp should be done. I've never used a ramp before. This is exciting. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. Now, I'm actually surprised by the clearance you actually needed because this looks to me like two free tiles in front of the ramp. Whereas the construction thing had the, these two back tiles occupied. Which, like, it makes sense. You need that freed up. But I thought it was going to, like, be built in that space. I don't know. Every time I, like, account... And I mean every time. This is the only time I have built a ramp. But regarding the mansion cliff that continues to be worked on in the bottom left... I'm, like, making lots and lots of space so that there's room for ramps, but maybe, maybe there will be plenty of space all on its own. New Mario Kart track, Twink Road. Oops. You're only allowed to play as Koopa Troopa on that- why? Is Koopa Troopa a twink? Twinka Troopa? I'm sorry. Anyways, so I guess the first thing we should do tonight is get... Actually, that's a lie. That's the second thing we should do tonight. The first thing we should do tonight is see Raymond, and then we'll get a second ramp permit. I can fuck with Koopa Troopa when I play at 200cc. What have you done?! Raymond?! This is... You can't... You can't do this! Do I have to give him another one? Wait, Raymond! Why did you reject my gift? You're not supposed to ever take it off. Yeah, you made it. What's the latest, Raymond? 
Just look at the talent we've assembled here. Raymond and Griffin, in one room. I wonder who will play us in the inevitable film adaptation. <laughs> yeah, they can just take off the clothes you give them whenever they want. Well, what's he wearing now? This is nothing clothes. He's not wearing, like, his suit. Is he gonna put it back on, or is that just... Is this here forever? I Let me take it back! I just want it back! This could throw a wrench in, into Yowieville's, you know, eventual goals. Man, I sure do love the Maidress cult, I mean religion. <sighs> Raymond is naked, not clickbait. Ah, if only... Oh, look, Beltry. This is going to be the 1.5 thing that we'll do today, which is good because we're going to need ramp money. He'll put the maid outfit back on sometimes, but not all the time. Every villager gets a selection of pre-made outfits. Well, I know Adi was like out here working out in like a tracksuit, not in her pineapple dress. So I get that there's like activities and you know, like during Easter they had egg costumes, that's an activity. So like for certain events, they'll wear event related clothes, but what, what event gave Raymond the excuse to take off the maid dress? This is unacceptable. Raymond's heterochromusy out. <sighs> Today's a dark day. A dark, dark day. Hmm. Guys, look, it's Max's wall. Um, there's like some... Oh, I like this one kind of, but... Actually, I'll pass. <sighs> I just want, like, some really dingy concrete floor with, like, some cracks in it, you know? Like a cellar floor. Is there a certain day of the... Okay, so I know Daisy May comes every Sunday, but there was a very nice person that I met who sold me rugs and wallpapers. And I feel like I should have appreciated them more while they were around. Hi, Sherp! Baby! Hi, how you doing? Let's talk. If I can't give Raymond a maid dress, I'll give everybody but Raymond a maid dress. I love long walks. They keep your feet entertained. Yeah? Bah. You said it, Sherb. Man, I can go all kinds of places now that I got away over the cliffs. Yeah. <laughs> the poor thing still can't leave his house. He's just gonna jump down a sheer cliff. I'm gonna explore everywhere. I meet new bugs. And I might even frolic. Bwah. I love you. <laughs> they made all the new villagers cute. Well, not all the new villagers. Yeah, you better sit in that corner with your donut. And don't come back! <sighs> I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him! I don't think we've upped anybody's friendship level to the point of acquiring, um, the ability to gift anybody a maid dress yet, but it's important that we work towards it. Who's the bear? That's, uh, Cody? Or is, I like to call him Stewie because he looks like Stewie and I hate him. He's disgusting. Yes, yes, that is the question. Still no more advice. But we still have so many more things to do. I know for a fact we have more things to do, because everybody in chat is still ahead of me somehow, even though I have terraforming. They only added like seven new villagers, and they're all good. Which villagers do you hate? Who? Who? Well, it's not Billy, that's for sure. Uh, infrastructure? Yes. Or should we hold a ceremony for the ramp? We can do both. Uh, yeah, let's make another incline. We're gonna need to. S Should we do the the second ramp that leads up to Penis Pond? Either way, it's gonna be a natural ramp. Or should we start with the ramps that lead to my Cliff Mansion? Yes, please. Did you know about the Animal Crossing anime? Yeah, I'm aware there's like a movie from like the 2000s, but that that's about it. Let's see. So that's 98,000 bells. So I should st uh, stop by the ABD before I set that down. But first, 
We're gonna visit our good friend Isabel. Oh, Griffin, good evening. How can I help you today? I'm good for now. I mean, what... Is, do, do island evals serve any other purpose anymore? So, you're curious about the current image of Yaoiville? Yeah, three-star rating. We've built a solid reputation and come up during many a water cooler chit-chat. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. Taken as one of two birds who have seen everyone come and go from here, this place is going places. Keep up the good work. We'd love to need a second plane someday. Is that an upgrade? Is that a thing you get? Yeah, yeah, decorate the island more, I get it. But like, is there a reason to? Because I know the reason we wanted to previously was for KK. I know there, there are still goals. These two won't tell me what they are, but I know they're out there, and I don't know how to work towards them. Ooh, bonus miles. Technically, Sherb debuted in Pocket Camp. Huh. I'm going to need to go ABD. I'm going to need to withdraw a little bit. This is my the entirety of my saving balance? Oh dear. That's right, because I paid off a, a 500000 and one from my loan. There's a gold watering can with a nine tile radius. <gasps> that does sound pretty kick ass. What's on the Nook Miles menu today? Let's see. Some more paths, some fences. Which I, I don't know if I have that one. That's like the kind that a horse would jump. I just wish it would tell you what fences that you have and which ones you don't, because after a while, it's a little hard to keep track. Still not say, seeing any new Miles items post-KK, like I was promised, but that's okay. How much is, how much does that pool cost? 5000 Yeah, okay, we're gonna wait a little bit, and we're gonna, we're gonna wait. But I'll tell you what, that's gonna look good next to my mansion. Uh, Nook Shopping. There should be a new KK song in store for us, at the very least. Elephant Slime. One thing that I've wanted to do, I know there's like a poofier style of hat that you can get, and I want to wait until that happens because I want to make like a Klonoa pattern. I don't think I have this one. Let's uh, let's place order. Speaking of, I need to visit my house and put that uh, in a music player. <gasps> or do I? Because you can put any song in any music player and it just goes in your, your all access playlist. Is he still here? This fucker. That's Stewie. I hate him. Also, I'm actually not going to walk up to him. I'm just going to show it on the map. But if you direct your attention to the top right body of water, that's Penis Pond. Rams even show up on the map too, apparently. Neat. Uh, but yeah, if we go to the fountain, I have another music player here. So I can put the one that I got the other day here. Love these album covers. Kind of fucked up that... No. That... On this album cover, K.K. Slider has, like, human proportions. These unrealistic body standards are fucked up. Oh! Let me tell you what else. We should go to, uh, to the museum. I don't have anything to, like, give yet. But... Hmm. Hmm. I was told that mixing red and orange flowers will get you pink. And there are new ones growing. But whatever the orientation, no new pink ones today. I still have yet to get a single pink windflower from any, like, group of flowers, but... It's good that more orange ones keep growing, because then I can mix them in. Are you guys actually using my paths? Is he gonna take a hard right when he reaches the bottom? No. <laughs> no, he's just kind of drifting, and now he's gone completely off course and crashed into a tree. Classic Sherb. LaBelle visited my island today, and I got a beard. You can get that? That's a thing you can do? I've seen, I think, be beards. It's him. But I thought people were making beards with like the, the face texture thing that you can do. I know how that's, that's how people have been making like eyebrows a lot for sure. Yes, I'll talk- Listen, I'm just getting my rock! I'll talk to him, I'll talk to him! There he is. 
who are you? CJ. What up, fishinista? CJ here, coming at you live from, uh, r right in front of you. New York? I'm touring the islands, looking for fresh faces and fresher fish to show off. On my live stream. What the fuck is happening to Yowieville? First there's an artist, now there's a streamer. This is too much. Fishing is reeling in all kinds of streaming numbers right now. Heard of eSports? Well, this is C-Sports. I hate this game. Anyway, if I need new fish if I want to keep my followers following. That's where you come in. If you got fish to sell, then I want to buy. Oh, so he's like flick but for fish? Simple as that. I'll even pay premium, New York. So you cash out, I get new selfies for my blog, and viewers get to hear me talk fish. Everyone wins! So, how about a challenge? Sea sports style. Right now. Win, and I'll make it ring. Talk you up on my stream. Plus my partner's into making slick collectibles if you want. <gasps> my part- My partner- My partner's into making slick cl Guys, is CJ gay, gay married to Flick? He's, he's, he, he, he's so talented. He, Flick is he. Guys, is, is Animal Crossing gay marriage? Yeah, everybody in chat is saying yes. Yep, yes, yeah, yes. <gasps> I mean, I think Flick can do better, but gay rights! Woo! Guys, this game is excellent. <laughs> Wait a second. But how come they can get married to each other, but I can't marry Raymond? See sport challenges? I want to see those fishing skills, and I just know my viewers do too. Here's how it'll go. I'll tell you what fish to catch, and you get... Th Don't tell me what to do. You'll take whatever fish I give you. They have an apartment together? How can I visit them? But the hook is, is that it switches up each time. Gotta keep them guessing. Plus, I can't afford- <gasps> Another cheating scandal! This this is a roller coaster of a beaver. Alright, that's the dealio. Are you ready for some sea sports action? Because it's challenge time. Gotta take it easy today. Just catch five fish in a row. Any kind is good. Nyuk nyuk. If you wow my viewers, I'll wow you with some serious bells. I'll buy those fish off you like that. I can't snap while holding my Joy-Con. Yeah, let's do this. I don't like water sports in Animal Crossing. You can't see it, but CJ mentions that they live together. <laughs> Today is freestyle day, so show us what you got. Just catch whatever's out there, but do it five times in a row! Well, I have a, a Nook Miles reward for doing it like a hundred times in a row, so I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I need a streak. That's fine. I, I know my gamer streak. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Don't worry. Chat will snap for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you know what I've... You know what I've just realized? Um, so you know how... I'm gonna go to the, the ocean. That seems like a better spot to look for fishy. Uh, you know how in 10.0 they added the option to, like, rebind, um, controller mapping? Well, so I always play, um, with the Joy-Con, but I don't, like, use the little puppy grip. I do it, like, so that I have just one in each hand, kind of free-floating, you know, as Odyssey suggests that I do. Um, but something that I've always been kind of interested in, you know, ever since the 1-2-Switch Milking minigame had you squeeze... You know, nobody ever talks about the, the SL and SR buttons, but... Can you, like, remap those and kind of use them as, like, the equivalent of, like, controller paddles? Because if so, that would be really sick, and I would like to do something like that. Guys, you could make games that require two Joy-Con only require one Joy-Con. That way I could play all of Animal Crossing with one Joy-Con and then use my other hand for snapping. Okay, we need a streak for this, so we can't- we have to be perfect. Perfect. I hate fish. I hate chairs. Epic gamer live stream fail. 
Wow, that's literally, that's like literally what Kajimafu said. See, now at this point, I kind of anticipate it. Oh, a clownfish. How fitting. What happened to me? I can open my Nook Miles menu right now. I have that achievement for getting a hundred fish in a row. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I need complete silence for this spell. Take it to the fail blog, everybody. But what about the epic blog? Have I been featured there? What's he thinking about? Is he sleepy? I'm a tired. Give me the fish. I'm surprised I have so few bells now after paying off that last loan and paying off a little bit of my current one. I'm so used to having like hundreds of thousands in reserve, but I'm kind of coming up on broke at the moment. So CJ could come in really handy. Please work. Okay, that's a very... They're like right next to the... God damn it! The streak! As I was saying, they were like right next to the bridge, so it's hard to line up the shot. Thinking about Flick? Aren't we all? <sighs> this is why I'm not a famous live streamer. I can't fish for shit. I'm a hack! I'm a has-been! That's going in the collection. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I see CJ's fans are raiding my chat tonight. These are not my true viewers. My true fans. My only fans. I can't even feel good about getting a streak going again. The feeling is gone. What the hell is this thing? Did, did I already like pluck it or it, did I just unlock a green flower? Also, I've seen a few of these on the way. I should be digging them up whenever I see them because they're all fossils now and not eggs. Hmm. I guess like at the very least I'll be able to um Like, even though my, I'm breaking streaks, I still get to keep the fish. And those are nice to sell anyways. Also, so much for keeping an eye out for these things, because now we got to get a shovel. See, some may say, but Griffin, just have lots of sticks and iron on you. That's not how you make shovel. That's not going to cut it. That's not going to fly. But I have a bunch in storage in my house, because crafting is a pain in the ass for tools. So that's, that's my approach. And I know Chet's gonna get mad at me for that. But you know what? Sorry for only playing 100 hours of this game instead of 300 hours. And then Chet's like, give me a break, Griffin. You haven't optimized and min-maxed every element of the progression in this game. Give me a break, fake streamer, streamer fail. CJ gave him the sea sports challenge and he can't even fish. I can't even shovel. <sighs> I only have the one left. I gotta make more. <sighs> Usually the shores are like very active with fish. Ever since I initiated the sea sports challenge, I haven't been seeing very many. <gasps> Is it him? No, it's, it's Sherb. But that's not at all disappointing, because I love Sherby. That's four, right? Okay, I was worried that because I went inside it would reset the streak. Hey, I feel like I've seen you a lot today. Am I seeing you a lot, or do I just feel that way? I want to chat. Huh? You designed that May dress? Neat! You look really cool walking around in your own design. It's like saying, look what I did, world! I bet Sherb will keep the maid dress for longer than a fucking day, Raymond! Ooh! 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 Celeste! Hootie toot and a very good evening to you! I thought only one event character could show up per day. What the hell are you doing here? Are you a resident of this island? 
Ah, you must be the famous Griffin. Yeah, from my famous Four of Five Fish streak, part two. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Celeste. Perhaps you've met my brother, Blathers. He's a museum curator. You know if you had. Blavy. I mean, my brother. It likes to go on and on about everything. It's quite endearing, assuming you're not in a rush. Oh, but there I go getting distracted. I came here to examine the night sky at Blathers' suggestion, but it's so much better than I had dared hope. Each star is as clear and distinct as if it had been hand-drawn. I wonder if we might even see a shooting star. Have you ever heard that a wish upon a falling star will bring you good fortune, Griffin? The stars above, falling all the way to Earth just to hear our wishes. Isn't that a lovely romantic idea? If you look up at the sky with R and happen to see a shooting star, then press A to make a wish. If you do that, you might just earn yourself some good fortune. Oh, I nearly forgot. I recently ran across this DIY recipe in one of my books on the stars. It seems there's a magic wand that, if you make a wish and give it a wave, let it become a whole new you. I jotted down the recipe with the intention of trying it out later, but I'd like to give it to you as a token of our new friendship. I do hope you'll try it out sometime. And if you find any other interesting recipes, I'll be sure to write them down for you. Thank you for this lovely chat. I'm sure I'll meet again the next time I come to look at the stars. Celeste is very good, too. I'm aware that in City Folk, there was, like, a second floor to the museum. There was, like, an observatory you could go to, and you could research the constellations with her. But I, I don't know. Whatever it, like, asks you to do, I have, like, a very foggy memory of it. I don't think that aspect of, of collecting everything, like, clicked with me. I mean, neither did fish or bugs, but I feel like the, um, the constellations in, in City Folk in particular, like, really confused me, and I, I didn't get it. Also, there's fossils that I have to get now, so I'm gonna use this shovel before I, um... There was another location that I remember being across this end of the river, but I just want to get those before I forget about them again, and get myself into, into a whole kerfuffle and break my last goddamn shovel! Catch Seaman, and he'll give you a pogger's reaction. Hello, Pookie. Uh, Shabel. So this is the third one, yeah? I'm guessing I need to look at the cliffs to find the last one. That's usually where it likes to hang out. Okay. Well, I don't know where the fourth one is, so I'm gonna go- This is my fish. Actually, it's not, because it's blocked by trees. Fuck that. I can't take any fish risks! It's all or nothing on this last one here. I need complete silence for this spell. Go tell CJ. I will. Phew. There he is. Has he, like, completely stopped moving since I last talked to him? Picked a name for your... Angler Sona yet, Nyuk? Now, when chat was telling me that I was more of a furry than the, the furry streamers out there, I didn't know that this is what you fucking meant! No way, you already caught five fish in a row? Now that's gonna make the chat <laughs> explode! So much of my sea sports challenge. Wait, a fish! Photo op. Oh my god. Way to wreck that sea sports challenge, what a haul! No, angler sonas aren't funny. No, Robin! Robin, I see what you're doing! It's kinda cringe! Wanna sell any of those fish? Cause I wanna buy. I've got bells for nautical miles, so chime on in! Yes, please. That's fucked up. So if furries want to be people, do you think... I mean, if people want to be furries... If people who are furries want to be furries... That is very nice for just seven standard fish. Do you think that furries want to be people? Or I guess in this case, fish? But then that asks... That begs the question. Splash! Make my viewers happy and I'll make you happy. Let's make it ring, yuck! That begs the question, what do fish want to be? I can make a bridge here. Because then my ramp would go here. No, but I already got the permit. Hmm. Also found it. I really should find a, a, a place to put that, though. And I should be making sure to do lots of fishing while I have the chance. Because I feel like... 
kind of miss my opportunity with Flick. And now I have his stupid fucking husband. Sharks? Hmm. Hmm. Also, I think I need to put my construction hat on. I'm just worried that this path might block the ramp. So we'll do this just in case. But wait a second. No, I'm gonna need... I think this is where the bridge can go. If my last... Like, I did some visualizations of how big the body of water needs to be to be able to build a bridge across it, and I think I'll be able to put it up against a wall and have it centered to this path. But, if that's not the case, and I put a ramp here in advance, then I'm gonna have to demolish that ramp until it lines up with the bridge. So I may wait on that a little bit. But, problem being, I already asked for a ramp permit, so now I kind of just have to suck it up. Like, I have to use that before I can place the bridge, just to extra super duper make sure. Hmm. Now, here's, here's the question, and I know chat loves it when I start talking about symmetry and patterns, and island design is my passion, but hear me out. At the top of the second ramp, there's one unit of vertical clearance. However, if you look at the bottom of the ramp, there are two units of vertical clearance. Should I use cliffscaping? I don't even get to let chat answer this one. The answer is yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it even. Can I do this? No, interesting. I wonder if cliffs, or if ramps rather, can overlap like this. If, like, the top of one ramp can overlap with another's base. Let's give it a shot. If it's too close to an incline like this, it'll block the flow of traffic. Better choose another place. Oh! Oh, this is going to drive me fucking insane! If I knew that, then I would have given two spaces of clearance! I mean, I guess it's kind of okay, because there's, like, a one block gap going around the circumference the circumference the perimeter of the pond except on this side i guess so it kind of works but oh it's gonna drive me crazy no it's fine it's fine it's fine i'm fine oops I don't need your lulls, chat. <sighs> I'll be fine. I'll be fine. It's not like this isn't gonna haunt me. Not like I'm tempted to spend 200,000 bells to demolish these and then replace them. Let's imagine it. You know what? You know what? It's not so bad. Because if you look at, like, the, the diagonal on the right, where, like, with the flowers for the Yowie Bell sign go, I think ultimately it kind of works out. It's not fine. It's not fine. I'm very not fine! Hello again. Good evening, buddy. Buddy pal, buddy old pal. A natural ramp, 98,000 bells. So, I know that, like, villagers can technically contribute to, to town projects like this, but, however, but, alternatively, like, how, how significant are those contributions? Because I knew in New Leaf, they were piddly, they were worthless. But is that any better in New Horizons, or is it just as bad? Ooh, balloon. What color we got? Blue? A baloon? That's just a kind of monkey. Let's see. What do we got? What do you got for me? See, and now I don't... Excuse me? Oh, wow, this is very max core. However, however, it is not... Made dress, so I will have to fix this mistake. I'll have to promptly rectify this. They still donate next to nothing? Just a couple hundred here and there? Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
See, this is the reason why I'm so bad at fishing all over again. How I've lost my groove. Is that I don't fish like a madman now that my house is finished. Now that I'm not spending weeks of my own time just doing nothing but fishing and catching bugs all day. I gotta get back into it. I had it. I lost it. I'll tell you what else ruined it. Egg Day. Because Egg Day killed my passion for fish. But they don't call me the fish streamer for nothing. Is everyone feeling good tonight? That's a good question, Neon Blue. Um, I haven't eaten all day. But I'm feeling good emotionally. I hate Stewie. I'm not feeling good in that regard. Hi, Drago. Do you want a maid dress yet? Yay, are you out for a walk? Let's talk. Apparently not. Another neat day on Yowieville, Burn. Good conversation. I almost had to explain the nice cock meme to my animation professor this morning, so what do you think? Well, did you? If you didn't, then I understand why you would be upset. Why are you stu- I'm just- I'm gonna eat after I'm done streaming. Listen, my lunch doesn't punish me for eating at the wrong time of day, but Animal Crossing does punish me, so that's where my priorities are at the moment. I've been in a Sissy Arega groove all day. Oh, what have you been listening to? I love all the crocodile characters. Even Alfonso is ba- I don't know who Alfonso is, which one that is. Again, I thought Drago was a dragon, but I still love him just the same. If you think about it, he's really just a fancy vector the crocodile. He's the result of what it would look like if- Vector found Corin's computer room, if you catch my drift. Hey, so why is it that I suddenly started getting campsite villagers again and now I don't anymore? What? Hey, hey, why is that? Why that is? Yes, Animal Crossing does punish me because then the shops close. And apparently, I only get to see Mabel during the day, which is a big problem. I did not. My classmate bailed me out. Well, what did your classmate do? Was your classmate like, nice explanation, but mine's bigger? Guys, this is a fucked up question to ask because I like to put significant gaps. If, if I'm like, you know, starting a new game series, playthrough, whatever, um... I like to have, like, I like to shake it up. I don't want to do, like, too many similar games in a row for too long. And I know I just did Sonic Colors, but I'm still kind of craving a Sonic game. Because that one was over so quickly, right? Um, so what would your guys' opinions be if maybe I did another Sonic game sooner rather than later? Because I think the last one I did before Colors was 06, right? And that's, like, a year ago, so I don't know if I want to wait, like that long again for what was comparatively a very short playthrough. Is that a... Is that a golden one? I was going to say yellow, but it looks maybe gold. Nah, it's just a regular... Well, hey, yellow is bells. Can't complain about that. Sonic Mania. I already streamed Sonic Mania forever ago, actually. Back in the bad mic days. Those were dark times. Oh, give me a break! Speaking of Sonic... Uh, we were talking just yesterday about um, how there was going to be an announcement on April 20th and they were going to announce the next Sonic game. Well, the next day, as soon as we discussed that on stream, uh, the Sonic Twitter tweeted that they're actually going to delay it. I don't think they said that they're moving it to May 20th. I don't think they've said when the new date to look forward to is going to be. I think they just said we're moving it to a later time, so... Whatever hype or discussion or anticipation there's been uh, has seemingly gone right out the window as quickly as it came in. But Griffin, your voice is still awful. <laughs> Thanks! I do my best. I need a slingshot. I'm going to my house for a slingshot. Sonic spinball or bust. I could do some of the classics. Those could be fun. 
I don't know if I'm gonna be very good at them, but I can try. A bottled ship? Speaking of bottles, I haven't opened this yet. From Eric T. Crafter. Bone door plate. Have I learned this? I feel like somebody maybe gifted me a bone door plate item. Something like that. But I guess I didn't know the recipe. Also, maybe this is why everybody has wands and I don't, because you have to talk to Celeste first before you start seeing shooting stars. Or however that works. Also, that is not where I meant to put this. Thank you. Uh, so I need slingshot. There we go. I come prepared. Unless I, my shovel breaks, in which case I'm completely out of luck. Wait, no, so this eh, goes here, and then this goes eh, there. Phew! I'm just going to put that in storage. I can't imagine that that's something that I would actually want. And this can go here. There we go. Joke's on you, I got a fish wand? Holy moly. The fun hentai game we all know we wanted. Sonic Dating Sim. Do those exist? What's the one... There's like a screen cap of something like that. Where it's like a visual novel and Rouge the Bat is on screen. And she says something really... She's like... Haha, maybe I could suck your pangus. And that's spelled P-N-G-I-S, I believe? What's that? I'm sorry, I... My pop filter appears to have loosened a little bit, and it keeps, like, falling against my mic. There we go, now it's standing upright. Um, let's talk to Blathers. So apparently, I've learned that I can assess all fossils at once, which is very, very handy. So I'm doing that from now on. Thank you, Tyler. Yo, where's my fucking Sonato dating simulator? It's been 20 years since Adventure 2. It's been too long. What do you mean, Sonic Inflation Adventure? That's not. Okay, he's got something in there, in that pile. Go on. Right, so how many of these are new? The duplicates will be grayed out, right? If I just make a donation? Love that Griffin focuses on me screwing around, but ignores my messages of support and acceptance. What's the one? It's okay, Griffin. We accept you for all of your faults. Well, most of your faults. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? That's what the Rouge screenshot is from? I... That's what scares me! That's what it... Does Rouge inflate? I know I asked for us to go here, but I think I regret going here. A brachial pelvis! I think I know about the brachiosaurus. Arm lizard. And it eats plants. Kajumufu, you're gonna have to be the one that keeps track of our fossils, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I already assessed this. She could. It is a visual novel, after all. <laughs> it's actually an economics game. <laughs> I'm not even going. I'm not even going to attempt. I'm gonna have to though, because he's gonna say it a bunch of times now. The use the Nepteron is famous for being the link between fish and land animals long before dinosaurs. It seems to have had strong fins capable of pulling it around areas where the water was shallow. When most creatures lived in the sea, they dreamed of land. If not for them, we, might, we mightn't be here today. Imagine if we'd not left the oceans. How might fashion and music be different in an aquatic world? How would we resolve differences? Perhaps some sort of ink squirting contest of champions. <gasps> but inklings don't live in the sea, Blathers, you fucking idiot! Okay, the question is if it's actually a Brachiosaurus skeleton or a Giraffe Titan. That's not real. That's the name of a Xenoblade fruit. It's like that one stock game on the 3DS Street Pass Plaza. I don't think... I didn't get very many of those. I know they had, like, a lot. 
What was that called? Like, market crash or something like that? Stock breakers? Some sort of video gaming name like that. I need to sell my fossils. Before it's too late, because we only have half an hour left. Whoopsie. Hey, so how does anybody get cool furniture? Because this sucks. Man, I miss Street Pass, though. I do kind of wish that the Switch... I'm going to keep that, actually. I'm going to put that up in my uh, clothes room. And I gotta sell all this, then sell all the fish to CJ. Okay, okay. Pretty much every Brachiosaurus you see in toys or movies is likely a Giraffe or Titan. They get mixed up a lot, but like... Apatosaurus and Brontosaurus. Yo, ain't Apatosaurus that one place from Sonic Unleashed? Also, we need to, we need to go talk to Wolfgang sometime today. I need, I need to keep building my rapport with him so he'll wear my maid dresses. Isn't there a scary game where shoppers are like zombies and it's in a PS1 style? You mean Mary Kate and Ashley's Mall Adventure or whatever the hell it was called? That's the best guess that I have. Hang on, wall. I'm beginning to sense a pattern. Is it- are you able to send anybody on your friends list letters, or do they have to visit your village first before you can do that? Because you know what? Ryan is a good friend of mine, and I'd like to send him a letter. A real one, not one with default- WHAT THE FUCK?! Audie lasers?! Hey, um, I know this is like out of nowhere, BUT I WANT YOU TO HAVE MY GOOD DAY! I don't need it anymore, and I'd just chuck it. But I hate for folks, especially like my fans, to think that I don't, you know, recycle. So I hope my bestie, that's you Griffin, can be my recycle buddy. What is- is she cleaning her ass with lasers now? What was that about? Bidet hours, who up? I already have a bidet. Is it like the same bidet? What am I gonna do? Okay, well, now, now I need to rethink how my bathroom, by the way, I forgot how my bathroom's coming together. This is nice, how this is laid out. New, new plan, new plan. It is identical. That's not what I meant to do. Get a load of this. Now, you and your friend can have your assholes cleansed together while making unbreaking eye contact. You know what? It's an improvement. Thanks, Audie. Thanks! I'm just gonna go see Wolf King. Before any things get any more out of hand. I'd still like a regular non-bidet related conversation though if you'd like, Audie. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. I wanna chat. I just saw CJ. I love bringing him fish. He's always so happy to see me. Or maybe he's just happy to see the fish. Give me the wolf gang. Put it closer. <laughs> well, you have to... Don't you need, like, a, sp a spot of clearance? So you can, like, actually sit on it? No, wolf gang is Sherb's neighbor. So he would be over here. <gasps> Look at all these fellas. That's like saying, hey, I'm throwing out my five-year-old bookshelf, and everyone thinks I buy all my stuff at Goodwill, so take it. Well, Audi has a very large fan base, much larger than mine. I know it's difficult to understand, but people like Audi gotta watch out. Audi has clout. Hey, by the way, it's just occurred to me, um, we haven't seen the the spot where like the daily bell hole. Hi, Wolfgang. I love his glasses. He's still wearing them. The night is young. Let's act like it. Are you not young, Wolfgang? Listen, I know Chad likes to call you a grandpa, but you're not helping me. Help me out here. Come on. Hey, is today Wednesday? Because it still feels like Tuesday. Wait, what did I do on Monday? Oh, boy. Guys, now I can be senile and forgetful with him together. 
Is it true you shook a whole mess of trees yesterday, Griffin? I think so. I would have been worried about shaking loose a wasp mess on top of myself. Yeah, I've been feeling so stiff. Right now, I'm leaning towards canoeing. Is that one that's popular with the kids these days? Oh no, he's old. No kidding. And here I reckon I might be the only local fanatic. Yep, give me a bucket of popcorn and a cream soda and I could watch it all day long. Cranky villagers are just like nice old dudes. I just gotta be careful when I stand up to cheer. That's how I pulled my hammy once. Guys, is Wolfgang like in his mid 20s? <sighs> so old. I'm gonna look for the golden hole. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> All right, so I'm told that I should be putting 30,000 in here. And if you were sorry, so, but that's, that's all I have. I'm just gonna do 10,000. I'm fine with 10,000. I know it's not min-maxing, but it's still, you know, more than I would get. Whoops, I confused put away for Barry again. It's fine. It's fine. Cranky villagers are probably like early 40s at the least with how their dialogue is. It's I find it odd that anybody in chat has actually thought about that, but thanks for letting me know. Let's see. So regarding my little cliff fortress here that's to the south, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything more that I can do with that for the day. But I already used the, the, the ramp permit on on Penis Pond. Yeah, speaking of shaking trees. So I, what I want to do first is maybe like... Now that I have a better idea of how much space ramps actually take up, it may be a good idea to maybe carve out where I want to specifically put them. So that I'll have the hollowed out space for it. It'll make more sense once you see what I'm talking about. But I want to pick up all these sticks. Because that's no good. It's just like Sonic's famous catchphrase. That isn't good. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I thought people were just saying Wolf Game was old to like be mean. But it's just the truth. Yes! Yay, wasps! Ah! My favorite. I wanted that so badly. I wanted those wasps. I, I was begging for them. I was shaking every tree. Praying a wasp would drop, and when it did, well, should have been careful what I wished for. It's because the cranky villager in town always talks with other villagers and regards on kids these days as though they're much older than the other villagers. I'm a failure. What up, fishinista? Picked a name for your angler Sona yet? <sighs> At least I got the, the nest. That sells for an okay amount, doesn't it? What? That's only worth 2,000? And this is 150%? Stingy streamer. Yo, I'll give you bits for fish. <laughs> okay, so my idea here is... Now, this may sound crazy because of what I just did regarding Penis Pond, but I will not make the same mistake twice. This collection of cliffs is going to have two squares of clearance on each side. So, if this is the top of the cliff, and then it's one, two, three, see, I think that's gonna fuck up with where um, the bridge goes, meaning that I'm going to have to make um, 
this wider by one tile on all sides. Maybe even by two. Who knows? But that seems to be what is being suggested to me. And by being suggested to me, what I've concluded. Should I have this rounded? It makes it look a little bit less, like, too wide, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um... Right, so this will have to get wider, too. Which means that stone and I have beef now. Roblox obby development hours. Is it possible? Hold on. Let me try something. So I know you can, like, make lily pads. As they're called. In, like, water. Like, one tile wide gaps between things. But is it possible to hop back and forth between, like, one tile wide gaps in cliffs? Oh, <gasps> ooh! You actually can. I'm told that to never build these because it'll fuck things up, but that's interesting. I need that you can do that. Roblox Pog Champ. Maybe that's something that I should stream sometime. Oh no, I have to. Mm, I gotta build the whole wall out. But I remember saying ages ago that I wanted to stream some of Tyler's other games. Maybe that could be something that I could do while I'm still trying to figure out what my schedule looks like. Because I get a feeling, a sneaking suspicion, that neither Spyro nor Star Fox is going to last particularly long. I mean, I could always finally get around to catching up on Fire Emblem for once in my goddamn life. Guys, I'm on chapter 5. Please, I'm trying. I don't know why I'm like this. I want Yuritsa so badly. And the path to him is clearer than it's ever been, but I just can't bring myself to play Three Houses lately. I blame Animal Crossing, honestly. I guess if I didn't have this, that's what I, I would be doing. Currently working on a tower for this Tower Obby game. Oh, you guys actually do stuff like that? God, I miss old Roblox games. I'm you. Oh! Tyler's learning Unity and C. Speaking of Tyler's games, Tyler, can you learn how to fix Roblox Adventure already so I can stream it? I don't know why that's so finicky regarding crossing the gaps. And as for this cliff, it seems that merging it with this existing cliff is already all I need. Okay, so it's going to be a two wide thing here, and then I need to build another two wide thing here, which means these flowers have got to go because for some reason, these goddamn mums are stronger than the earth itself. Maybe, sniff, maybe. Well, Tyler, you helped me fix up uh, LBA4, which I, by the way, did a stream of. So, wouldn't you be able to just apply very similar changes to 3 to make it work again? Wait a second. This doesn't seem right. This brings the ramp clearance back to what it was down there before we started expanding, meaning we need one more of clearance on both sides before Cliff Mansion is properly ready to go. Meaning, I gotta move some trees and shatter some rocks. That's, you know what, fair enough though, because that's what I want to do once I finish um, my current platformer. Because I've been spending like six or seven years on this current one, and like, I, I mean, I'm, I sure hope it's gonna be good. But also, I don't see myself, like, spending another, like, six to seven years, probably even longer, on a sequel. Because you know that I'm gonna want to, like, make something even bigger and even better than that. Meaning that's gonna take <laughs> even more time. So, I don't know. I've actually been wanting to, um, speaking of having streamed LBA4, so that was a year ago, right? in like January or something, and I followed that up with a sneak peek of the sequel to it that I've been working on. However, problem being is I want it now that it's 2020 and it's well past January of 2020, I wanted to do a very similar follow-up for a long time where I, you know, make a new trailer and I do another uh, demo of what I've been working on on stream, because I've got a ton of cool shit that I love to show off. 
I'm, I'm actually building like a, a vertical slice of world one, you know, so it looks really, really finished and that'll kind of be uh, the part that I show. Um, tricky part about that, however, is I've got a pal who's like, Griffin, this code is garbage. Here, let me tear everything down and redo it for you. And I mean, they're not wrong. The code base is garbage. It could certainly use a, a, a new engine, a new uh, series of thingies under the hood. And we got a little bit of work done on what that ought to be. But then they've like, they've like disappeared now. And now they're working on other projects. So I don't know. I'm kind of just left doing whatever. And I'm like, I'm trying to build stuff, but I can't really show any of it because I know that I'm going to have to tear it down and rebuild it with the new engine stuff. So I don't want to like get too invested in building things for a system that we've all agreed that it is going to be scrapped. And also there's there's a current glitch with Roblox where the water doesn't render properly. The reflections are really fucked up and I'm waiting for them to fix that before I record any trailer footage. Possibly, but I've got major cabin fever with Roblox development. That's true. I mean, I, I would imagine if you have any success on Roblox that it would become like that. Griffin, you should learn Unity too. I have Unity. Wait, do I have Unity? I feel like I, I'm literally opening up my app screen on my other display. No, I do not have Unity. I feel like I did on my older machine, but I guess when I got my 2016 MacBook, I just didn't bring that over. Chat's going fucking insane over the, the possibility of it. Well, listen, if you want to see new footage from LBA5, tell Roblox to fix the fucking water, because you know what? Not nice water in this game. Also, I know this is going to make chat very angry, but I'm going to make one more spot of cliff clearance, because I want two visible... I want two free squares on the top and on the bottom. If, if not, I will never forgive myself. Let's see, so I need to eat one more pear and use one more shovel, maybe two even. Pulls up sleeves, Roblox, where you at? Listen, I mean, I can still work on the game and then just make a trailer when they fix the water. So don't, I mean, don't get too mad about the water thing. It is a issue, but it's not the issue that's preventing me from working on it um, at the moment. It's so fucked up that you eat the stem with the fruits. You, maybe it's a good thing that there aren't bananas in this game, because I, I thought there were at first. But you know if that was the case, then the villager would just eat it with the peel. Water is probably a Mac bug. Tyler, fun fact, actually, it's not. Fire up your computer right now. Go to Roblox Studio and just make a, you know, a nice vast body of water. And you'll see that the reflection of the skybox twitches the fuck out. I had it's come and test this. I had so many people take a look at it. It happens on mobile. It happens on Mac. It happens on Windows. Every single platform. The water renderer is fucked up. I reported it. They have done nothing about it. They, you know, the, the worst part is on the on the private developer forum, I, I drew attention to this issue. And you know what they said? Yeah. Uh, sorry. We're, we're going to... What, what's the word? When they put it away? Archived? Griffin, if we're talking about your game, this main project I'm working on right now is probably going to be done in a month or two, so I'll be able to make music for you again after that. Hell yes! By the way, in case you guys aren't familiar, Max has been making music for uh, my game, and it has been slapping so far. Yo, do you eat bananas with the skin or nah? That's what Griffin McElroy does. That's not what I do. So, like, I just don't want to record any footage with the glitchy water, but my, my bigger concern is getting this new engine stuff sorted out so I can actually, like, start building stuff again. I've been, like, making very small level design tweaks here and there. Um, but in terms of, like, scripting, like, finished stuff, not so much. 
and I've, re I've really wanted to, I just haven't had the opportunity yet. So, go yell at somebody else. It's getting an OST, Nani. If they archive the bug, that shit's never getting fixed. Yeah, okay, that's the word. Cycling shirt. Wow. Can you eat the wasp's nest? Asking for a friend. Hey, since, since it's been a while since we've talked about Roblox, this is gonna come as a surprise to nobody, but have we talked about the China thing yet? Like, there, there, there doesn't need to be an explanation for that, just the China thing, and the chat's gonna go, yeah, there's probably a China thing. You can eat anything if you pour your heart into it. Thank you. Thank you for believing in me. Oops. Some of the other devs I've been working with have been putting my music on their games on YouTube. If you wanted to do that, Griffin, you can. Facepalm. Which China thing? <laughs> um... You know, I, I thought about putting up music previews on, uh, the LBA channel. Um, my only thing with that- this seems wide enough, this is good. Is... What was it? What the fuck was I going to say? Is... I want to start doing that for sure, but only after I start, um... You know, I want to get that trailer and that demo out first, and then I'll start putting out music, but I think doing that in the inverse order just, just, just doesn't quite feel right. Uh, yeah, yeah, the China thing. Um, so basically, Roblox is expanding into China. I believe they're partnering with Tencent. Who isn't? Um, but they're introducing, like, a thing for developers. Like, new rules regarding censoring content. And you know what that means. Sorry guys. Sorry to all my Chinese fans. LBA5 is banned. Yeah, that makes sense. Is the demo only for friends or is it for everyone? Oh, so the the World One Vertical Slice thing that I that I just mentioned. Um I don't know if that's going to be public because if I I that's just something that I wanted to, you know, do as like a stream. Um but I don't know how feasible it would be to make it playable for everybody. It would help for, like, bugs and stuff, I suppose, but... I don't know if it's that ready, you know? Let's see, so that's one, two, three, and then another one, two. That's clear. Then I hop over here. And then one, two, three. And another one, too, that's clear! Nice! I thought you were going to say that they're banning gay content. Well, that's not allowed in China, so effectively, yes. If there's anything in your game that goes against, like, what China wants, which I guess anything critical of the Chinese government also counts, then, um, it's, like, banned from audiences. Griffin, you can make a Patreon and make it available to the patrons. I feel like we've had a Patreon conversation about recently on stream already. I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. I don't know if anybody would want to do that. I don't know. But I just meant in general. Well, that's that's the kind of chilling effect though that it has. Because sure, you can get away with it. But because everybody's going to make less money, it's like what Walt Disney is doing right now, where they're, like, taking all the gay stuff out of their movies so that it doesn't make Chinese audiences angry. And I mean, Roblox isn't quite as high stakes as that, but it's it's a new rule that hasn't been there before, so it's going to be interesting to see how things change. And by interesting, I mean <laughs> very depressing. I'm poor as fuck. You see, if people wanted to give me money, they would do it on Twitch. And I, I believe this is where the conversation went last time as well, when you mentioned I should open a Patreon.
Oh boy, don't get me started on TikTok. Oh boy. Hey, wasn't there a balloon shadow that just disappeared? Oh, there it is. Wait, come back, come back! My tiny little head. I can barely see. Okay. Phew! What do you got? A bike shirt? Oh, iron nuggets, thanks. It's actually very handy. Will LBA5 have meme secrets? Kind of like how Adventure Forward had some. The only secret Adventure Forward has was that Jake was fucking a miner, so, um, if you mean secrets like Adventure Forward has, then no, LBA5 will not have secrets like that, I'm afraid. I know, it's very disappointing. I know it kind of goes against the grain for the adventure game norms, but I think it's the right thing to do. Let's see. So those cliffs are worked out. Those cliffs are worked out. So all we need now is to wait for, well, I guess two ramp permits and two bridge permits and whatever other fiddling will be required once the bridge is in place. No, I know that's not what you're asking. I'm just doing a bit because I fucking hate Jake. <laughs> Okay, so I need to sell a few things then. I don't know what to do with all these trees that I'm plucking. I feel bad for removing so much wilderness. But then again, none of them are fruit trees, so I guess it'll do. I guess I can get away with it. I will say, though, I'm a little worried about, um... Oh, I should buy some medicine while I'm here. I am a tad worried about... I need to sell these bugs, too. I'll sell the trees. Because I wanted to move Raymond's house. Once I get my mansion thing sorted out, I want to, like, put Raymond's house at, like, the foot of the cliff. But because of, like, how I've moved things around, I don't know if I'm going to necessarily have the room for that. Jake. Okay. So, for those out of the loop. Hold on. I'm going to buy medicine, and then I will explain this story. Um. So, in the same way about how I'm making an adventure game on Roblox, you know, like a Mario 64 styled kind of platformer. Um, there was another big name in the community who I am quite ashamed to say was my friend uh, by the name of Explode One. They made a series of games called Adventure Forward and they were immensely popular, much bigger than mine. Um, they got regular features from the Roblox staff, you know, on the front page. They had editorial, like they wrote about the game on the official Roblox blog. Um, huge, huge series of, of platformers. Um, and then it came out that Jake, Explode One, uh, was having very, very inappropriate relations with, I believe, a 16-year-old boy, and it's, it's really fucked up. We've talked about this before, but, like, there's, because th this is one of three people I know who have been involved in pedophilia scandals. Um, Jake, Mr. Obvious, and of course we all know Julian, um, about how it's fucked up that they're not actually, none of these people who I just mentioned are actually facing legal consequences for what they've done, but Roblox actually did take notice of that, and they, you know, they shut down his account, they shut down all the games, he, he can't monetize them anymore, um, and then he kind of disappeared, although he is still out there, people found him again, and it turns out that nowadays he has a Twitter account where he draws and retweets a shit ton of hyper furry inflation art. And he's making a furry inflation themed game in Unity. And that's the Jake story. That's, that's the, succe the success story. Mr. Obvious's, uh, stuff was shut down too, right? Or has Jake been the only person that, like, official action has been taken against? That's epic. Well, I think you might want to clarify which part of that is epic. <laughs> hey, here's a question. Can I use cliffscaping to, like, change the shape of, like, where the beach meets the sand? Where the beach meets the sand. You know, this part, where the ground meets the sand. And I don't think I can, because I keep going, whoa, when I come near it, so. That's odd. I should be able to change that. I want beachscaping. <gasps> hey, 
It's Adi! Grr, I got a stain on my favorite outfit. Griffin, what do you do when things are just the worst? Well, this is what I do. And then she slaps me across the face. Some folks call it pouting, but I say it's me telling the world to quit being mean. Anywho, oh, using aggravation can definitely make you feel better. See? I'm all good now, Foxtrot. I learned the aggravation reaction. Arg. No, I think it's important to talk about, though, you know? Because even though it might be, like, uncomfortable, like, this stuff doesn't stop unless we drag it out and address it, you know? Otherwise, it just, well, goes unaddressed, which I would argue is far worse. I don't know what the hell is going on with this right patch of flowers. I have to, like, think of new ways to orient myself to water them most effectively. TBH Roblox back then was something. Are we talking something in a good way or something in a bad way? Hi, Sherb. <gasps> Guys, look! He's using our bench! Hey, bench heads. Oh yeah, and to top off the Jake story, um, I'm working on LBA5, I want to say alone, effectively alone. I do have a few friends helping out here and there. I sure do have people who offer to help and say that they'll tear up my whole game and then make me wait for a new engine that's gonna, never gonna come. But, um, Jake had like a whole team of active developers, and so he, he was working on like a third Adventure Forward game at the time this scandal came out, and... What wound up happening is the rest of his studio, like, turned on him, kicked him out of the studio, took the code, and ran with it, and tried to make their own game. Um, I don't know whatever happened to it, um, but that's the last that I heard of it, and I think that's epic, that the one thing that they were known for was, like, taken from them. I ought to post my creations in the Discord server. Yeah, if you guys have been doing anything cool in Animal Crossing, I'd love to see it when I do, um, art at the end of the night. I mean it in both ways, maybe bad and good. I listen, I think it's a happy ending, because they got caught and they went down for what they did. Or at least as down as people on the internet can go without the involvement of law enforcement. It is fucked up though, like, the evidence is out there, the Discord logs are out there. I think a, a pretty solid case could be built to take the, those kinds of actions, and yet... God, though. I mean, Mr. Obvious was especially bad, though, and I heard that nothing happened to him either, so... I think that's the dark part, is that that hasn't happened yet. But it's never too late. Let's see, those have already been watered. What do I have in my inventory that I'm sitting on right now? I'm gonna fish for a little bit is what I'm gonna do. God, I wish that dude were in prison, though. Yeah, that's like the one... That's the one thing, for sure. cops don't care, though. But, I mean, pedos, so, like, that's a crime. I think something can be done. I just think something hasn't been done. It blows my mind how many just to get to walk free. Yeah, it's fucked up. I feel like there was another big similar thing along those lines that I heard. But I completely forget what the story is, so unfortunately, we're only gonna get three stories about that today. And it's not regarding anyone that I know, but didn't like some big like YouTuber or something get in trouble again? It breaks my heart and scares me to hear about stuff like this. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sorry to hear that, but... Again, like, I think the, the, the takeaway, at least as far as, like, I mean, I, I guess not taking legal action, but the, the good thing to take away from it, like, the reason that we know about it is because there are people who, who like, want to... What am I trying to say here? Whether or not we know about whether or not certain people are doing this sort of thing, it's, um... 
hearing about it is a good thing because that means that there are people who like care about making it stop and dragging it out and making it a public thing is what makes it stop, you know? So. Are you talking about the big onion man thing? No, I guess that would be a fifth story. Chris Hansen was involved, if I recall correctly. Fun fact, I'm actually... I don't know if you guys are, but I am. Uh, Chris Hansen has a YouTube channel where he does, like, regular updates on the investigation. Uh, I believe it's called Have a Seat with Chris Hansen. And he does interviews with, like, the, uh, like the victims and with, like, experts on the subject matter and, like, um... It's actually really, really good, um, like, I was looking at it, it's like, it looks like a lot of videos, and it looks like it might be hard to get into, um, but I find it pretty engaging. I don't think there's any, like, from what I can tell, uh, there hasn't been any big updates on, on the Onision thing, though. I, I think that's just ongoing, but no new big news. I'm so lost. <laughs> Anyways, back to dinosaur fa <gasps> facts. I mean, at, at, at a certain point, Animal Crossing. God damn it! Like I said this at like the beginning of the stream. Go, Grandma. Go, Grandma. Go. There is more progress to be made, but I can't actively do anything to work towards it at the moment. So this is kind of like, I wouldn't say a chill stream, given the subject matter that we're talking about being pretty serious, but. That's just kind of how it is. Conversations go this way when there's nothing to talk about in the game anymore, you know? Yeah, li Kaijimafu, lay down a beat. Lay down some dinosaur facts. Dino facts. No, that would be Dinosaur Office on Nintendo Video. That's... That's so strange to me that they actually spent money on a Like, you think about it in that lens that they spent money on, like, original content for, like, a free streaming service for 3DS. Like, why was that? Fucking hate you, Soya. Fucking hate you. But, like, how much do you think it was, you know? Do you plan on changing your uh, town flag? Or is the zippy hatred eternal? I mean, the hatred is eternal, but I would like to, to make a new flag, for sure. Um, I just don't know what I want it to be yet. Like, I would do a gay pride flag, but that's already kind of the town entrance. So I feel like that would be, like, a little plain. So I want to do something, like, bigger than that, you know? Ooh. And, like, I could do, like, like a Keaton thing or a Corin thing, but I'm... J Guys, quarantine. Um, I'm just worried that, given the resolution of what these have to be, it, it may not be... may not come out very good. Um, but I can certainly try. You know, I've always been wanting to, for a while, redo the, the Keaton and Corin emotes. Maybe when I redo those into, like, artwork that I actually like, maybe I'll turn one of those into the flag. That's that's my only guess. I did my own little logo kind of thing over the trans flag as my town flag. Real talk, making a pride flag in Animal Crossing is a pain in the ass because the resolution is not divisible by six. You you if you try to divide it by six, let me let me show you what I'm talking about here, back to the rainbow ones. So these are even, but they're not actually squares. There is one pixel of transparent space on both sides. And you know me, I don't like having things uneven. So making that into a flag may be a little bit tricky. Did you know that the first identified fossil of Tyrannosaurus rex was named Monospondylus gigas, meaning big spongy vertebrae, and it was thought to be Ceratopsian? Yeah, I had to make a transparent square around it and I hate it. Exactly, exactly, Robin. This is the kind of thing we are trying to avoid here in Yowieville. But no, I did not know that T-Rex fact. That's very interesting. Is there any other, like, waterscaping or landscaping stuff that I can do at the moment, or...? 
I don't know, like, I've got half an hour left. Should I just end early and switch to Spyro, do you guys think? Because I wouldn't mind. You know what? I've always wanted to have a bridge between this and this. I guess technically I do, though, if you go, like, all the way downstream. I just think this would be a nice place for it. However, at the moment, there is not really any ground space for it. However, I guess if I'm saving up for, like, two bridges to put here, I may want my priorities in check. I don't know. They call me Monospondyligigus because my vertebrae is spongy as shit. Nice Hollywood sign by- Thank you! Thank you! Finally, someone gets it! Nobody addresses- Also, CJ, you should have these. Nobody addresses my Yowieville town flag. But it should be addressed. By my fish. It's- I sound so pushy. Watch this be worth nothing, though. People didn't realize that it was a T-Rex bone until after T-Rex was discovered. And despite the Manospondylus name coming first, it was decided that T-Rex would be the official name because it sounds much cooler than Big Spongy Vertebrae. CJ would switch to Spyro. He would. Miss you, Flick. This sucks. I was supposed to be the one to marry him. Now what? Now what am I gonna do with my life? Here's what I'm gonna do with my life. I'm gonna sell a bundle of 30 twigs. Because if there's one thing that I do not want, it is two stacks of these. Worth it. Hey, what's, in the, what's in the present? What's in the box? <gasps> a beach towel! Wait a second, this rules! Hold on. I guess I can set it down right here to see what it looks like, but... This is good. This bodes well. Oh, yes. This is absolutely going at the, the beach of my cliffside, beachside mansion. God, you can barely even see it from the shore now because of where the bridge is. Like, it's good. It should be here because it's more accessible, but it is a bit of a walk to the beach now, isn't it? This is chill, though. This is ultimately a good thing. Wait, can you not walk over? Okay, yes you can. It's tr it's treated like a bed. That's cute. There we go. I want it like here. Maybe a little more distance from this corner. I think that's pretty good. You just sold a squid. Woo me. No. CJ does chat streams where he just talks about fish facts four hours a night and chat loves it. It's so weird. Because if you think of it, because Kid Cobra in Arms is a streamer too. Is that just like a character type now? Like, I don't mind it because I think it's kind of funny, but if there's- I'll tell you what. I'm also gonna cover all this water up with waterscaping, Griffin, not cliffscaping. But does anybody remember that, um, what was it? I don't even remember. Starlink or something that had the Star Fox crossover in it? It was like a Ubisoft space game. Did you know that there's a character in it and their bit is that they're an influencer? Because the streamer thing I will allow, but actually fuck that. The story of T-Rex's name is honestly insane. The original discoverer of Tyrannosaurus offered two names for the genus, the other being Dynamosaurus Im Imperiosus? The reason it ended up being T-Rex is that the name was first... The name was listed first in the official statement on the discovery. If Dinosaurus was the first proposed name listed, that would have been the name. That is a fucked up T-Rex fact. I wish I knew things, aside of from which of my friends I can trust, but apparently I don't even know that. That reminds me of this one Marvel comic. Okay, that seems like that's it for Animal Crossing. Thanks for watching. 
Uh, coming up next is Spyro the Eternal Knight. So if you're interested in that and for, uh, I don't know, conversations about anything other than uh, pedophiles in the Roblox industry, then please hold. Thank <laughs> you.